What we're going to discuss in this video is the importance of a little molecule called H2O. Everybody's heard of water. We use it all the time. We use it to clean with. We use it to cook with. Uh, we drink it when we're thirsty. It's all over our planet and all living things need it. So what we want to explore in this session is what is so amazing about water. H2O is the molecular formula for water and that simply means that water is going to be two parts hydrogen. So one molecule will have two hydrogen atoms and it's going to be one part oxygen. So it's going to have one oxygen per molecule. And here we see the structural formula of water. So the oxygen is represented by red and the hydrogens in white and that's pretty much across the board in chemistry. We use uh, red to represent oxygen and we use white to represent hydrogen. So let's look at this molecule and find out what is it about it that's so amazing. I want to start by looking at the oxygen because there's something very special about oxygen. Oxygen is an atom that we say is incredibly electronegative. So this word electronegative just simply means that oxygen likes to pull electrons. So um, if you'll recall Atoms are made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Protons have a positive charge, and electrons have a negative charge. And oxygen likes to pull those electrons towards itself. So the electron that's in the hydrogens is, has a tendency to move towards the oxygen. And what that does is that means that the hydrogen side of the water molecule tends to have an overall positive charge. So each one of these hydrogens tends to have an overall positive charge. Well, because oxygen is so electronegative and it's pulling these electrons towards itself, the oxygen part of water tends to have an overall negative charge. And that makes water what we call a polar molecule. So polar just means it has opposite ends. So if you think of like the poles on the earth, you have the north and south pole, or the poles on a magnet, you have north and south. Polar just means it has opposite ends. So there is a negative end, which is the oxygen side, and then there's positive end, which is the side with the hydrogens. Now what does that mean? How does that uh, polarity of the water molecule actually contribute to its properties? Well, we have to put another molecule of water in here to see why that matters. So here I have another water molecule and I'm going to orient it in a certain way. And let's see why this, this polarity makes a difference. Uh, again, we said the oxygen had an overall positive charge and therefore the hydrogen, oh, I'm sorry, that's wrong. The oxygen has an overall negative charge and the hydrogens have an overall positive charge. And what do positive and negative charges do? Well, they attract one another. So there is actually an affinity or an attraction between this positive hydrogen and this negative oxygen. And that attraction forms a very weak bond that we call a hydrogen bond. And this is a very common bond in biological systems. We'll learn a lot about it. But it's just simply that this weak attraction between the positive uh, charge of the hydrogen and the negative charge of the oxygen um, causes water molecules to stick together. And when water molecules stick together, we call that cohesion. So the prefix co means like both, like if we cooperate. So two water molecules stick to one another, and that is called cohesion. So if you're wondering why cohesion is important, well, if we look at several water molecules together, we can see a few things. First, we can see that every individual water molecule, if we just look at this water molecule right here, every individual mo water molecule can make four hydrogen bonds with other water molecules. So here, this one water molecule is bonding with one, two, three, four other waters. And so what that means is that water has a tendency to stick to itself and stick together. And that's very important in biological systems. It's very important in water serving as a solvent. It's very important, in other words, as water dissolving other um, uh, other compounds and things. It's important in plants. We'll learn later about a thing called transpiration, how plants actually use this cohesion or sticking together of water molecules to move water throughout the plant. So very quickly, let's review some things. We said that the molecular formula for water is H2O. 
and the structure looks like this two hydrogens and one oxygen we said that because oxygen is incredibly electronegative it tends to pull electrons towards itself and that makes the hydrogens have an overall positive charge and the oxygens have an overall negative charge and that makes water a polar molecule so it has opposite ends and because water is polar it tends to form bonds with itself and those bonds that water molecules form with other water molecules we call hydrogen bonds and that contributes to this property of water that we call cohesion which is how water molecules stick to one another and it is this cohesive ability that water has that gives it some of its fundamental properties that make it necessary and absolutely essential for living things.